Bill? Good morning, Mr. Chairman. My name is Bill Frieda, and before we cast our votes this morning for our Board of Directors, which includes members of the Management Development and Compensation Committee, there is an issue I want to bring to the attention of my fellow share owners. I am here this morning to urge you and our Board of Directors to put an end to the practice that is commonly known as phantom dividends. The issue before us is whether senior executives of GE should be permitted to collect dividends or dividend equivalents on shares of equity compensation they do not own. When I received this year's proxy statement and found no share owner proposal covering this issue, I was disappointed. But then it occurred to me, why in the world should there be a need for such a share owner proposal? This practice, to me, is so obviously wrong and unfair that it would seem to render the need for a formal proposal to eliminate it unnecessary. I have always been told that GE was a meritocracy, which means you are rewarded for the things you do. The payment of phantom dividends is a contradiction of that theory. What makes phantom dividends even more egregious is that, it, is that they continue to be paid when at the very same time our dividends have been reduced. On some level, Mr. Chairman, you must agree with me because beginning in September 2006, you declared that you would only accumulate dividends if you actually own the shares. And for that, Jeff, I applaud your leadership. Now is the time for other GE executives to step up and follow your example. From 1986 to 2000, I worked as an NBC GE employee. During those 14 years, I was required to attend several integrity policy meetings. This integrity policy, I was told, was the cornerstone of the way GE conducts its business. That is why I am dismayed and disappointed that GE would allow its employees, whatever their position, to collect compensation they are not entitled to. Mr. Chairman, if this practice is allowed to continue, it would be disrespectful to your share owners and retirees who have had to endure a reduction in their income due to the lowering of the dividend. To your current employees who are now required to pay, pay significantly more for their medical benefits, and to your future employees who are now precluded from joining the GE pension plan. All these steps were taken presumably because they were prudent business decisions. Mr. Jammin, I am perplexed to understand how anybody can consider phantom dividends a prudent business decision. In the past, GE has defended this practice by explaining that it was necessary in order to attract and retain the most qualified people. Jeff, if prospective GE employees need to be rewarded in this manner, perhaps our company would be better off without them. In addition, phantom dividends has been described as being necessary to compete with other major corporations. In this year's letter to the share owners, you seem to complain that American companies are being unfairly vilified. Mr. Chairman, practices like phantom dividends only give credibility to the critics of big American companies. Thank you, Bill. One more sentence, sir. Finally, in this year's letter to the share owners, you describe GE as a we company, not a me company. What better way to illustrate that theory by eliminating phantom dividends? Thank you, Bill. Thank you. Thank you. Ms. Pirelli? Hi. 